After Claude Code's version 2.0 bump a couple of weeks ago, Anthropic has been quickly moving forward on point releases, including big items like a plugin system that allows you to share your custom commands and agents with your team. And also in version 2.0.10, the ability to disable or enable MCP servers by either mentioning them or using slash MCP. I think both of these are really great because they go hand in hand in allowing you to save context when you're using Claude code and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So in a previous video I showed how to enable the MCP server for connecting to Trello and if I go to MCP you can see here are my MCP servers that I have connected. If I'm honest with you since that video I completely removed Trello, I removed Playwright, the only thing I kept in place was Context7 because it's pretty small and fetches data as it's being used. But as of just a few minutes ago, I completely removed Trello. I removed Playwright because I didn't want the context that they uh, add to the standard prompt to be included every time I use Claude code. So if I show you my context right now with all of those MCP servers enabled, here are all of those tools, every single one of them taking context you can see my MCP tools with just those three are taking almost 18% of my context window. So what the MCP update is, I can actually come and disable those if I'm not using them. I'll disable Trello, I'll disable uh, Playwright, and I'll enable or disable rather Context7. If I do Context again, now I'm not using any space from my MCP tools. I've reclaimed all of that back. I've now got the 19.5% free instead of previously just 74.9. So if you've been using a lot of MCP servers, you may or may not have known that every single one of those tools within that MCP has been taking up space in your context window. So I really welcome this update. I was really not using Trello or Playwright very often due to that reason. And now I can just come in, turn those on, Turn those off as needed. And you can also, as the release notes mentioned, type at and go up and down from there. So there you go. MCP server Trello enabled and disabled. And that's a way, way better than having to physically go and add an MCP server back when you needed it. Now, the plugin system, not only can you share slash commands, agents, hooks, all of those things, and even MCP servers. What I like about this is that you can also enable and disable plugins as well. So what I did was created a plugin for all of the commands and hooks that I use, which honestly are not very many, but I have a couple, three commands, two hooks, and this is what the structure looks like. You've got a marketplace.json within a Claude plugin folder, and then you can add your commands, hooks, agents, MCP servers. For me, I just have these two for now. Inside the marketplace.json file, it looks like this. You have a name, owner, and then you have an array of plugins. And this, this particular marketplace has one plugin right now called Channel Tools within the current directory. And it specifies the three commands and then the two hooks. So to add this plugin, I'll go into Claude. I'll type plugin. First, I'll add the marketplace by pasting my repo owner and name, and then that'll show the channel tools plugin within that marketplace. So I will click add install now. So I'll restart Claude. So there are those tools there that I have in the repo. So what I want to do is I'll check the context. So you see those are my three commands, 1.1 K tokens, 92.7 free. If I now disable manage plugins, I can disable this plugin and I have to restart again. If I do context again, those are all gone. No more commands. But what's interesting is it still has nearly all of the tokens, but it did reclaim a little bit of free space. Now, 
this plugin is off, obviously extremely small, but if you had a very large plugin or many plugins across different marketplaces, you can see how that would allow you to free up your context if you're not using all of those plugins at once. So I like both of these. I'm really happy that they're allowing you to disable things and customize a session, uh, remove things that you might not need to free up context. So give both of those a try. I'll link to the repo in the description if you want to see the structure and sort of the plugin as it exists and copy it or you know use it as a base for your own plugin system. So that was it for now. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.